T6, Summer 2012, Paper 1, Non-Calculator, Questions 10 through 12. I've got to rearrange the formula to make the subject R. So I have V equals 4 thirds pi R cubed. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 3. And what happens in the right is the 3 and the 3 cancel. And that leaves me with 3V equals 4 pi r cubed. I'm now trying to get the r on its own, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi. Again on the right here, the 4 pi's cancel and I'm left with 3v over 4 pi equals r cubed. Now the question asked for r, so the last thing I have to do is take the cube root of my 3v over 4 pi. Pi. For our thirds, the rule that we learnt is that the square root of a times the square root of b is the square root of a times b. So if I have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, that is the square root of 5 times 5, which is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. We have a small number in standard form. So if we count the number of zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that tells me that I want times 10 to the power minus 7, and we want 5.67. To rationalise the denominator of a third, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the original denominator. So we end up with 30 times root 6, 30 root 6, and root 6 times root 6. And as I showed in the previous slide, that's the square root of 36, which is 6. The last thing I need to do here, 6 and 30 cancel to give 5. So the answer to the question is 5 times the square root of 6.